Hey everybody, this is Peter. In this video segment, we're going to install and set up a volume or an encrypted volume with TrueCrypt. Um, if you don't know what TrueCrypt is, TrueCrypt essentially is an encryption program that allows you to store confidential data on your computer and encrypt it so no one can get access to it. So, first thing we're going to do is double click on the TrueCrypt setup exe that we've downloaded. So, let's go ahead and do that. <clears throat> and we'll choose to run this program and accept the license agreement and if you you know wish you can actually read through the whole thing we'll go ahead and click on accept and we're gonna go ahead and click uh, choose install in this case and we'll go and click next alright now you have the choice to choose what directory you want to install it in do you want to install it for all users do you want to you know add it to the start menu of the desktop so on and so on and so on. Do you want to create a system restore point, which actually is really cool. We have a video that shows you how to do that for your Windows box um, so that every time you install something you create a restore point just in case it messes with your system. <clears throat> We're going to go ahead and leave the defaults and click on install. So we're creating a system restore point first and then we're going to go ahead and install TrueCrypt. So we'll see that we went through a bunch of the installation stuff by you know cutting it obviously so you didn't have to watch it but now <coughs> excuse me but now we're actually done the installation and you'll see the first um, message we get is if you've ever or never used TrueCrypt before we recommend that you read the chapter beginners tutorial uh, do you want to view the uh, tutorial in this case we're going to go ahead and click on no we don't want to view it right now and we click on finish so TrueCrypt is now installed in your system. Well, you might be wondering, okay, great, what do I do with it? Well, that's what we're going to show you right now. So we'll go into Programs, Start Programs, TrueCrypt. Oh, you can't see it, but there we go. We're opening it up. And you'll see that you can create different volumes, okay? We're going to go ahead and create a volume. And you'll see here the options you get. Create an encrypted file container. Uh, an encrypt a non-system partition drive, encrypted system partition or entire system drive if you feel like it. We're going to go ahead and just create an encrypted file container. We're going to make it standard <clears throat> and in here we're going to actually type in what the file is going to be. Alright, so we're going to store it on C and we're going to call the file encrypted. Alright, so we'll go ahead and click on next. We're going to use the AES encryption algorithm but what you can do is quickly benchmark all the encryption algorithms that you see here. Alright, so you can see two fish AES. I won't get into the specifics, not to confuse anybody, but in here you're benchmarking the actual encryption algorithms that are available. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead. We'll, we'll, we'll stay with AES in this case. We're not too concerned about it being, you know, a little slower or or quicker or whatever it is. We're just going to keep AES because it's a standard encryption algorithm today and we'll go ahead and keep that option where it is. Alright, so we'll go ahead and click on next. Free space on the drive. We've got 132 gigs. What do we want to dedicate to this file? We're going to say 5 gigs and click on next. And then we're going to obviously put in a volume password so that if somebody happens to grab our laptop and double click on this encrypted file or volume that we're creating, they can't open unless they have the password. Alright, so we'll go ahead now and click on next. Alright, so short passwords are easy to crack using brute force techniques. Yes, they are. We shouldn't use a four character password. In this case, we're just doing an example type, you know, setup for the video. You should use longer passwords or passphrases, but just don't forget to, uh, well, never forget it, basically, because if you do, you'll lose the information within the encrypted volume. Go ahead and click on yes. Alright, do you intend to store large, larger files in four gigs in this volume? We'll keep the defaults of no. Click on next and you'll see here that <clears throat> it's finishing up base basically it's creating our volume and it's formatting the actual space that we've given to that volume alright so the TrueCrypt volume has been successfully created press OK exit alright so let's go ahead and select our um, encrypted volume that we created or encrypted file that is and there it is. All right, we're going to go ahead and mount that. Type in our password because, well, we couldn't mount it without the password. And you'll see if we actually try and get into the Z drive or Z drive. 
we're allowed to easily create a document and store it in there. Okay, because we have mounted it, we've typed in our password, now we can dump stuff into this drive and it'll be encrypted. All right, so if we go back into TrueCrypt, just one second, and we dismount the drive, all right, you'll see now if we try and get into the, the Z drive or Z drive, we get an error message that essentially says this drive refers to a location that is unavailable. So essentially it's hidden, encrypted, you can't get in. All right, so you essentially have to come back into TrueCrypt, mount the actual drive, type in the password, and then you can get access to the information you store in that volume. That's pretty much it, guys. Thanks very much for coming out. We'll see you on the next one.